Good morning, Sheriff. There were multiple ambush style shootings in recent days of police officers in Missouri and Florida as well. And to go broader, 58 officers have been killed by gunfire just this year compared to last year when it was 36. What do you think is going on here? Well, there's a number of things going on. One of them is this uh, dangerous, hateful rhetoric, this anti-police rhetoric that has gone on in the United States for the last several years, which has emboldened people. There was a time in this country, and it wasn't that long ago, where crooks would be content with trying to outrun the police. The first thing they'd think of was run. But now they've been emboldened, and the first thing they do is think of shooting their way out of it and running second. Look, this is a sad day in America. Uh, when it comes to this sort of stuff, just with the things that you mentioned in just the last couple of days, ambush style uh, attacks against law enforcement officers is up 142 uh, percent. Killings of police officers in the line of duty is up about 45 percent just in 2016 alone. But I think the election of Donald Trump, who has shown unwavering support for the American law enforcement officer and his selection for the uh, Attorney General of the United States, uh, Senator Jeff Sessions, will be a welcome opportunity for everybody in America to begin to support the uh, law enforcement officer so they can go back and do what they do best, and that's protecting and serving their communities. Why is it that you don't have concerns about Jeff Sessions and racial insensitivity? You've said in the past you don't believe he has a racist bone in his body. But if a police officer shoots an unarmed man, there's a very good chance that ends <clears throat> up in a Jeff Sessions Department of Justice. Many people in this country are concerned about Jeff Sessions as it relates to race relations. Well, really, the only concern that the people you're uh, mentioning have is about Jeff Sessions' his politics, not his enforcement of the law. Look, Jeff Sessions was instrumental as the uh, uh, attorney general of the state of Alabama in desegregating the schools. He prosecuted a Klan member who shot and killed a young black kid, Michael Donnell. As a matter of fact, uh, that resulted in that Klan member being executed, and the pending or the resulting civil suit broke the back of the Klan in the state of Alabama. Now, you look over the last 20 years, uh, Jeff Sessions, this has never been raised by his colleagues in the Senate. It's never been raised by anybody. What you're going to get from Jeff Sessions is a fair enforcement, consistent enforcement of the rule of law. He's dedicated, committed to the rule of law and the Constitution of the United States. One of the things that the civil rights movement in the United States has asked for is consistent application of the law so that politics doesn't creep in. That's what you're going to get from Jeff Sessions. Sheriff, in terms of people concerned about politics, a lot of people are concerned about the politics of the alt-right. You know about the meeting I'm going to reference that took place not far from the White House over the weekend celebrating Donald Trump's victory in the election, and several people appeared to mimic the Nazi salute. Please, just take a look. Hail Trump! Hail our people! Hail victory! <laughs> Why do you think these kinds of groups seem drawn to President-elect Trump? Well, I don't think these people are drawn to President-elect Trump. Look, you know, they aren't? There are 350 <laughs> million people in the United States of America. Uh, people are free to do what they want to do. Some of it is repulsive. Oftentimes it is from both sides. Look, those are um, people on the margins. We, you cannot use that as, as uh, uh, you know, things that are indicative of an entire movement. I could point out things on the left as well, the hateful rhetoric coming from uh, some of the, the ultra-liberal wing of that party, for sure. you know, that hate the police, but it, that hate Trump, that call for people to rape Melania Trump. That's the stupid stuff that, that uh, seeps into our politics. But I'm not going to indict an entire um, a movement on any side just because of the actions of a few. Uh, agreed. But, but Donald Trump is someone who openly expresses what he's repulsed by. I mean, he's got time to go after the New York Times time and again. Why wouldn't President-elect Donald Trump go after the alt-right and go to Twitter just like he does all day, every day, and say, I do not support that group. I don't want anyone to raise a Nazi symbol and say, hail Donald Trump. He seems to be silent on it. Well, he doesn't seem to be silent. Look, uh, if every time some idiot says something that he has to then respond to, he'll never get the work done of the American people. He's busy but, but putting he his transition together. But he comments on loads of things. He's got time to go after the New York Times, right. Hamilton, uh, and, Ca Hamilton cast members, and he doesn't want to mention this? Well, look, uh, President Barack Obama, I haven't seen him uh, go after the people on the left who are hating on the police, who are hating on... 
uh, Republicans and conservatives. He hasn't done that either. Presidents don't have time to to, to um, um, lower themselves down into the minutia of everything that everybody in the United States says. I know Donald Trump. I've spent personal time with him, not just in a rope line. He's a fair individual. He is also not a racist. These are political slander. That's all this is. This is what goes on when the left cannot say anything nice about somebody on the right. They'll throw the R word out there and watch them twist in the wind as they sit up there and then try to uh, uh, deny the fact that, you know, that mm -hmm. claim is true. So, you know, look, everybody needs to settle down. Donald Trump on January 20th is going to be the president of the United States. There are people who still find that unsettling, who have not accepted the, the uh, election results. Give the man a chance. Let him take some time to try to heal this nation. That's what's needed right now. I said early on in the uh, election, one of the first things I would suggest the next president do is deliver a Gettysburg-type address to try to bring this nation back together and heal. I think he got a good start on election night when he said, I'm going to be the president of all people. I believe him. Sheriff, thank you so much for sharing your thoughts. And then our hope to, Donald, to President elect Donald Trump, if he's got time to opine on the ratings or humor level of Saturday Night Live, I'd hope he'd have time to comment on this. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.